we've been very fortunate this morning. Nine Lions on a kill with the Cubs. Very successful morning. Good morning everyone from Shamwari TV. It's Ranger Jan here and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous morning in the northern section of the reserve. We decided, myself and the camera crew this morning, to head out early in search for the northern pride. We've been very fortunate this morning and it looks like they've killed a young red hearted beast. But if you listen very carefully, there's a lot of growling going on between the little youngsters. And it's quite a big pride here up in the north. And we've been extremely lucky seeing the big pride and on a kill. And if I count very quickly, it looks about nine members in this pride here. There's no big male here at the moment. He's probably out on a territorial patrol this morning. And, 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 it, and it's quite normal for, for a male. He'll be with the pride sometimes, and then he'll be out on his own, checking out his territory, moving away from them. Males can hunt and they do contribute into the hunt, but males perform more uh, the protectors of the pride where the females are the providers. But if he needs to, 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 to help them out, especially if it's a big kill like a, a giraffe or a, a buffalo, he will, he will definitely contribute because he's got the sheer power, the, he's got the weight advantage and he can bring down the animal with them very successfully. And just by looking at what's happening here at the moment, uh, definitely some uh, fighting between the members there. Bigger female, uh, it's the, it looks like the, the dominant, or if you want to say the matriarch, that just stood up and it's probably one of the younger sub-adults that just got a little bit too close for comfort and especially towards the little cubbies. They're about six months, they literally almost, they turned six months old this, uh, this month. So it's, there's four little youngsters there, and then there's three sub-adults that's just over a year old, and it's their mum that just got a little bit of a beating there from the bigger, more dominant female with her little ones. And you'll generally find it between the, the, the pride members, or members of the pride, especially if there's a kill involved. You know, uh, it's not a big kill. The red hearted beast that they took down is probably about 14 to 16 months old. So there's not a lot of meat, so you can imagine nine lions to be eating. I can just assume how this, how this kill took place, that they were higher up on the ridge line here, overlooking these beautiful, slopey, montane grassland areas. And, and this kill definitely took place early, early, super early. I think while we were probably still on our way here, and there was quite a drive to get here this morning females with little cubbies can be sometimes very elusive and she'll try to to hide them as uh, as much as possible and then it's just a form of protection for her especially if, it, if it's bigger prides and different prides uh, on the reserve you know we've we've got the the southern pride and the northern pride although they try to stay out of each other's way but there is sometimes conflict between the two prides where the one will cross the other one's territory or the border and then uh, there will be a a bit of a fight that will uh, break out and then they will generally just move away back to their uh, respective areas again. You can see one of the sub adults on the far right hand side, a younger male, is trying to pick it up. And generally what they will do is, the minute it starts warming up, and if it's a small kill itself, not necessarily a small kill, if, even if it's something a little bit bigger than that, they'll try to drag it into a thicket or into a bush or into the shade and then they will remain there for for extended period or up until it's uh, completely finished and then the pride will move off. 
the little cubbies at this stage will, will still be suckling from mom. Although they, they can be eating meat already, and they've tasted meat already, but it's just to get that little bit of an extra treat while mom's still around. They will probably suckle for a, maybe a month or two more. She will eventually start pushing them away a little bit. moaning and groaning the little ones there all four is there at the moment and you can see mom just literally flipped over legs are in the air and all four is right on the right on the milk at the moment spectacular sighting this morning definitely worth coming up here it is a risk you know the the reserve is massive you're looking at about 25,000 hectares it's it's going into the unknown it's a completely different area where we are. Our altitude is a little bit higher here in the northern parts of the reserve, so our rainfall is a little bit more than we would uh, normally get down in the southern sector of the reserve. Hence also why it's a little bit more greener here than down in the south. But the pride is bigger here than down in the south, but because of the, the remote and the vastness of this area, I mean, it's a, it's a complete wilderness almost, and uh, we actually on the reserve ref refer to this area as our wilderness area. Definitely worth it coming up here, spending some time with this lovely pride. So to talk about, uh, you know, why the male's not here and who the father of the little cubbies is, and you will recall that Andrew mentioned a couple of episodes ago about how one dominant male can be if you want to say the leader of both prides or more than uh, one pride or multiple prides and that's literally what we what we're seeing here our dominant male down in the south that was initially introduced into the northern territory made his way down to the southern territory eventually pushed the southern male out of his territory he became a nomadic male he literally fathered the northern pride and the southern pride at the moment so his little offspring is currently thriving up in the north. As it's getting warmer as well now, you've noticed that the female actually got up and she's slowly moving closer to the thicket line, trying to get a little bit more into the shade as it starts warming up. They will eventually, after a good feed and the youngsters a good drink, they'll they'll settle down here for the day. There's water down, down in the valleys here on my right hand side. A lot of the fluids your animals are getting is, uh, is from the kills they make, from stomach content, uh, but they'll have to drink water on, on a daily basis as well, especially after a good feed. These guys will stay here for the rest of the day. The bright will settle down, they will sleep, they will lie down. The little cubbies will uh, eventually play around here. There's nice little termite mounds here. They will see it as a nice playground. There's a bit of cloud cover moving over into this area as well, so it might just stay a nice cool day, which will be perfect for them. But it's just still, it's just incredible and how fortunate and lucky we are finding them. So that's it for us for this morning. It's just been such an incredible and successful morning here on Shamwari. We're going to leave them uh, for the rest of the day. They've settled down. 
nine lions on a kill with the cubs. Very successful morning. Till next time. If you haven't followed us yet, hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell. Stay tuned for our next episode, and I'll see you right here at Shimori Private Game Reserve.